Hey everybody, Ben here from DMC Films and Cinderblock Studios, and welcome back to another acrylic painting tutorial. Today, we're looking at dry brushing. So this tutorial is going to come to you in two parts. Part one is just basically introducing the technique and using it to create a basic waterfall. Part two, which will be a separate video next week, where we're going to talk about using the dry brush technique to create sort of these intricate, interesting looking, colorful space nebulas. So that being said, let's get started. Okay, so for the first part of this, uh, I decided to go with a piece of black gessoed uh, cardboard. Now this has a relatively smooth, actually a very smooth surface. Uh, it's just basically a piece of scrap that I had sitting around the studio and I thought it would be really good for this. Uh, so it has uh, less texture than canvas, but it should still be uh, really good and give you the contrast you need uh, for this type of technique. Paint-wise, I have my regular titanium white, as well as some zinc white. If you're unfamiliar with zinc white, it is a semi-transparent, uh, I guess you could say translucent, uh, white, which is really good for mixing, toning colors, and doing things like mist and water effects. So we're going to use both the titanium white and the zinc white, and I'll show you the technique with both of those. I also have a little bit of water uh, off to the side here, and uh, it's not, you know, perfectly clean, but for this, it's, yeah, again, it's just a demo should suffice just for what we need here today. Brush wise, I have a single uh, flat brush, should be all we need for this. Uh, again, this is just the sort of the base uh, core of this technique and we'll uh, expand on it next week in uh, part, the part two of this video. You also may want to opt for a paper towel or a rag. Uh, for this reason, uh, I sp just specifically bring it up because I know I won't really show up on camera because a lot of times I'm using my pants to wipe my brush off. so. Uh, just a heads up, you might want to have something else besides your clothes uh, to wipe your brush on. Now the concept of dry brushing is uh, relatively simple. It is uh, one of the more basic techniques between acrylic uh, or oil painting, and uh, it works uh, really well for a variety of things. Uh, today, specifically, we're going to talk about waterfalls, just because I think it's a good way to illustrate this technique, and it's a good technique to use for waterfalls in general. One final thing before we get started with today's lesson, you may realize that I have my palette and uh, working surface uh, right next to each other today. I decided not uh, to go with the palette on a separate uh, little screen as I've done in the past on some tutorials. I did this mainly today because uh, my surface is relatively small and I won't have to be too contending for space too, too much. So that's enough of me talking. Why do you say we actually get started on this? Uh, so between the zinc white and the titanium white, uh, this technique is very, very simple. Now I have water off to the side, but for the most part I won't need it. Uh, the, con the concept of dry brushing is to sit your uh, water aside and don't use it pretty much at all. Uh, so for this, instead of really loading up the paint on your brush, we're going to have just a little bit of paint on the brush and use the texture of the surface and the texture of the brush to create an uh, interesting effect in this way. Also, it's important to note that if you're doing a dry brush technique, your brush has to be dry. Uh, don't dip it in the water first. Don't use a brush that's been sitting in the water. Uh, make sure your brush is indeed dry, or at least as dry as it can possibly be. Any water on the brush will actually destroy this effect and the effect that you're trying to go for. So for this, I'm just going to pull some of the titanium white into my brush. Tap it in. And then wipe most of it away. Now you can use the palette. You can also use... I occasionally kind of pull it off on the cardboard or again on a rag or on my pants or something. So you're basically loading it up and then wiping a good bit of it off. So really all you have on the brush is just uh, slightly moist bristles, uh, moist just with the paint itself. And from that you can just start pulling down whatever shapes uh, and creating whatever shapes you want. So for this I'm just going to kind of start up top and pull. Right about like that. That doesn't look like much, but sometimes the less you do, the better the effect is. So I'm going to tap in with this a little bit, and create some mist. And then I'll actually just kind of pull from side to side to give the illusion of the water line. Right about like that. And that's really all there is to it. Now from this you might think, okay, I'm going to rinse my brush off. No, don't do that. Uh, don't rinse your brush off until you're absolutely done. Uh, so we're actually going to drag right into the zinc white now. 
and see this technique again, but with a more transparent bite. So again, you want to pull most of the paint off of the brush, and then come down for just a bit more, like so. And tap in your mist, and wipe away. And that's really all there is to it. Again, with the zinc white, because it's going to be a little bit more transparent, a lot more of the undercolor is going to show through. So for this, just my undercolor is black. And so rather than being the stark white that the titanium white is, the darker color of the back uh, of our substrate here really kind of shows through a little bit more and gives a more subtle uh, appearance to that waterfall. So that's just a really basic way and basic technique to use dry brushing with. Now that I'm finished with the water, I can rinse that out. And if I was going to reuse this brush for more dry brushing, this is when your rag really comes in handy. You just want to really dry that off as much as possible. Kind of feel it, make sure you're not, have, not having too much water in there. If you pull it, squeeze, you shouldn't really feel much water, uh, if anything, it's just a little bit of dampness. And now you can kind of come back in and do more dry brushing. Now that your brush is clear. So that's just a really simple way uh, to create interesting effects, and that effect again is called dry brushing. Uh, next week we're going to be diving into this uh, technique a little bit further and in creating interesting uh, nebula, galaxies, stars, something interesting for a space scene. Essentially it's just using this technique but applying some interesting color layers to it. So look forward to that next week and subscribe for more videos like this. This has been from DMC Films, Cinderblock Studios. See you guys next time.